So one of the ways to create editable PDF documents is to use something called pdfescape.com. It's a free program. It's very simple to use and it makes your PDFs actually editable. So it's something that you should suggest to your clients if you're using um, a workbook that you want them to be able to fill in to use to pdfescape.com. It does limit you to 100 pages and up to 10 megabytes in file sizes. So if you're just sending um, a few sheets or you've just got a small workbook, this should be absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna choose a file. So I've got my page here. It's processing it for me and loading it. So this is my worksheet. So I've got these sections here. If I click on text, and then highlight this section, it's now made it editable. So I can now write Anchor Online Designs Graphics Canva Web Design. I can type in whatever I would like to type into that section. And if I go over to here, there's a little green arrow, click Save and Download it will then download it with my information on. So it's just a way of, if you are gonna be sending your workbooks to, to someone and you would like them, or they would like, for example, to be able to do it online, using pdfescape.com allows them to add in that little section and they can type away, and once they've downloaded it, their information is within the workbook. So I hope that has helped on how to edit the actual workbooks to make them editable. We have um, the fantastic workbooks and eBooks available in the Business Design Academy, and these are also really, really easy to edit within Canva. They are all editable, everything about them, the colors, the fonts, the, um, the images, the shapes, you can edit all of it. So if you are creating workbooks and ebooks for challenges or courses or just to go out as a freebie, for example, for an email list um, or to run alongside a product or I'll say a five day challenge that you're running on Facebook, they are fantastic for this kind of thing. They show that you are knowledgeable in your field, that you're an expert, the go to person for that particular subject. So they are brilliant to use. So I've shown you very quickly at the beginning of the video how you actually edit a workbook or how um, your customer or client can edit the workbook using pdfescape.com. But the actual workbooks themselves are very editable. You just need to click on any aspect that you want to change and you can change the lot. The images um, are changeable, so you just double click on the image in the background and you can swap it out for another one. With the ebooks and the workbooks, what I tend to do is add in a couple of cover images, a couple of different um, content page designs, a couple of different actual content pages where you put your information and your images, um, a couple of different header section pages so if you're if you've got an ebook that has various different sections you've got a cover page for each one like a module section um, a couple of different resource pages if there is websites and different information that you'd like to give and a couple of different say thank you end pages where you can add your social media you can add your website you can add your email address you can just say thank you but definitely always add in your contact details to the end of your ebook. So you have your cover, you have your module pages, you have your contents pages, you have your resource and you have your thank you pages. Each one should have your web address or your email address or a social media handle um, with a hyphenated link so that someone can always get in touch with you. It's very important to have your contact details on your ebooks. You can add in, um, links, anything can be linked, click on what you want to create as a link and then go over to this little section here, this double section and then you just type in the web address of where you want it to go to so it probably be your um, website. Click apply and that will make that, that, will make that a link 
but because you're downloading this as a PDF, it will remain a link. Any other templates in Canva you can't add links into um, other than the PDF downloads. So definitely don't forget to put your um, website, email or social media handles in there. So I hope that's just helped a little bit on the layout of the of the ebooks, how you have uh, different cover designs, different content designs, different thank you pages, so that you can choose how to create the book yourself. You can delete the pages don't, you don't want and you can duplicate additional pages. So for example, the contents page. Um, I think there's a couple of different ones on here. We've got this style, we've got this style, and there's this style. So there's three different styles here. You can use all three, or you can stick with one and delete the others and then duplicate the one you want. And then just copy your text and paste it straight into the text box. And that is as simple as that, really. Everything else is changeable. Um, obviously, any issues, any problems, anyone stuck on anything, I'm always about, I'm always happy to help. Just pop me an email or send me a message or come into the Facebook group and shout help. I need, you know, need someone to come and help me. So that's it for the ebooks. You now know how to edit workbooks in pdfescape.com and you also now know how to edit the actual ebook within Canva.